as much as we love being whisked away in the fantasies of a Stonesfield spy movie, or even just a delightful rom-com with a completely unrealistic premise, sometimes we love to keep our movie night firmly planted in the real world. Fortunately for us all, the 2021 cinematic slate is already loaded with films based on remarkable true stories, several of which have now been nominated for Academic Awards. Therefore, in today's video, we are going to be going through the list of 2021 movies that are based on true stories. However, we will save the best for last, so make sure you watch to the end. First on our list of 2021 movies based on true story is Judas the Black Messiah If you are not familiar with the tragic story of police assassination of Black Panther Deputy Chairman Fred Hampton played by Daniel Kuluya and the young FBI informant who helped make it happen played by Leket Stanford, it's time. The movie was made with the blessing of the Hamptons family and gathered five Oscar nominations including Best Picture and Best Supporting Actor Notes for both Daniel and Stanford. Next, we have The Courier. Benedict Cumberbatch simply cannot say no to a historic drama and thank goodness for that. In this one, he starred as Gravy Wayne, a British businessman who was recruited by MI6 during the Cold War to deliver secret messages to a contact in the Soviet nuclear program. When daring action ultimately aided in the ending of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Next, we have The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. I hate to break it to anyone who sells suits after watching a horror movie by reminding themselves that it's just a movie. But Conjuring series and its many spin-offs are actually all based on true life stories of paranormal investigator Ed and Lauren Warren, played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farminga. And though it's not set in a haunted house, the next installation continues this trend. Focusing on the 1981 trial of Amy Johnson, a Connecticut man who claimed he has been possessed by a demon when he killed his landlord. Hmm, you're right. Next on the list is The Last Dial. The Last Dial is based on Eric Jagger's 2004 non-fiction book of the same name, detailing the last official instance of trial by combat in France which occurred in 1386, between two nights. The screenplay was written by Nicholas Holofensa, Matt Damon and Ben Alflick, with the latter two also starring in the movie. Damon played Jane, who accused his former best friend, Ligris, played by Adam Driver, of raping his wife, Margaret, played by Jodie Comer, setting up a judicially ordered fight to the death between the two men. The movie premieres in October 15, 2021. King Richard There is no denying that Venus and Serena Williams have achieved some unbelievable good worthy accomplishments in their decades as pro tennis players, but equally impressive is the story of their father Richard, who coached them to those achievements for most of their lives without ever playing tennis competitively. He will be played by Will Smith in this biopic, which will take place in the 90s right, as the Williams sisters prepare to go pro. The movie premieres November 19 in theaters. Next, we have The United States vs. Billie Holiday. In yet another frustrating story of the US government's history of racist, fear-based and unwarranted attack on prominent black leaders, this film shows how Grammy award-winning singer Andrea Day was used by the government to racialize the so-called war on drugs. Day was nominated for Best Actress for her performance in the movie which also stars Travian Rodas, Natasha Leone, and Gareth Hidlund. Minari, another best picture contender on top of its five other Oscar nominations. Minari is a semi-autobiographical version of director Lee Isaac Chung's upbringing in rural Arkansas as the child of South Korean immigrants in the 1980s. Critics have hailed it as a powerful depiction of the immigrant experience in the US. Next, we have House of Goosey. Lady Gaga and Adam Driver are playing Patrizia and Goosey respectively in this portrayal of Patrizia's involvement in the trial of 1995 assassination of her ex-husband Goosey. The film also stars Al Pacino, Jared Leto and Jeremy Irons and is directed by Ridley Scott 
the movie premieres November 24th, 2021. Spencer, it's been almost 25 years since her tragic death, yet Princess Diana's life and legacy have only seemed to increase in relevance during that time, especially as we've watched her son grow up and learn to navigate the world without her. This year, the late Princess of Wales will further be immortalized in biopic form. She will be played by Kristen Stewart, who already appears to be Lady D's pitting image in photos from the set, and the movie will cover the three-day period over the 1991 Christmas holidays during which Diana decided that she needed to seek a divorce from Prince Charles. Next, we have Penguin Bloom. For the record, the titular character is neither a penguin nor a flower. It's an injured magpie adopted by the Bloom's family after matriarch Sam, played by Naomi Watts, is left partially paralyzed from a terrible accident. As Penguin heals, Sam takes note and finds the strength to relearn how to spread her wings and fly too. After watching, make sure you check out the book it's based on, which was written by Sam's husband Cameron, played in the movie by Andrew Lincoln. Respect Several years before her death in 2018, Aretha Franklin asked or more accurately told Jennifer Hudson not only to play her in a biopic but also to win an Oscar for the performance. Obviously, Hollywood immediately began working to make the first part happen and if the trailer alone is any indication, the second part is almost guaranteed to follow. The film has a star-studded cast that includes Forrest Whitaker, Queen Latifah, Mary J. Blood, Titus Burgers, and so many more, and truly cannot come out soon enough. However, the movie premieres August 13th, 2021. Next, we have My Slinger Years, an adaptation of the writer Joanna Rakoff's 2014 memoir of the same name, My Slinger Years. Stars Margaret Qualley as Rakoff. In the postgrad year, she spent working for a demanding boss at a literary agency in NYC in the 1990s. With much of her day spent responding to J.D. Slinger fan mail, Rakoff begins to find her own writer's voice while secretly spicing up the mandated form replies. Our friend, based on essay written by Matthew Tlig for Esquire in 2015, this is the heartwarming and heartbreaking story of the incredible friend Jason Stagel who dropped everything to be with Lig and his family when Tilk's wife Nicole was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Next, we have The Dig. Edith Pretty, a widow who tapped local amateur archaeologist Brassel Brown to see what was going on under the strange hills dotting her English countryside estate in the 1930s. Brown and his team uncovered countless monumental relics from the anglo sasson era and the rest was literal history. Next, we have Nomadland. Frances McDormand, played by Fern, a woman who takes a nomadic lifestyle living out of a van after her husband dies and she loses her job. The eye opening film is based on journalist Jessica Broder's 2017 non fiction book of the same name, about the great number of older Americans who began living as nomads and following seasonal work opportunities across the country after losing their job in the 2008 recession. It stars several actual nomads playing fictionalized version of themselves and was nominated for six Oscars including a historic Best Director nod for Chloe. Also on the list is the Mauritanian. Despite repeated promise of closure and regular reports of inhuman conditions, the Guantanamo Bay military prison opened by the USA after 9-11 remains open, with 40 detainees still in prison there. This film tells the true and horrific story of Mohamed Sali, a Mauritanian man who was held at the detention camp without any charges or trial for 14 years. Jodie Foster and Shelley Woody play the defense attorney fighting tooth and nail to free Sally, while Benedict Cumberbatch plays a military prosecutor doing everything he can to stop them, even if it means working well outside the law. And finally on the list is the one I can't wait to watch, which is Fatherhood. Prepare yourself for another major tearjerker. Kelvin Hart will star as Matthew Loglin, a man whose wife dies barely 24 hours after giving birth to their first child, a daughter, prematurely. The movie is based on the real life Lingling's 2011 memoir, Two Kisses for Maddie, a memoir of loss and love 
in which he recounts his courtship and marriage to his late wife Liz and his first year as a single father to their daughter Maddie. Much more fun facts. After the movie was sold to Netflix, Barack and Michelle Obama's Higher Ground production signed as distributors. The movie premieres June 18th on Netflix. So well, that's it on our list today of all the best based on true story movies coming out in 2021.